Beijing is a sacred city, um, it was actually designed as a sacred city. So Beijing is no accident. It was conceived of and placed exactly where it is and built all by design and by different philosophical systems. So the painting of Beijing is almost a grid which happens to be the city plan of old Beijing, taken really from before the Ming Dynasty. And this represents perfect mathematical proportions. So the mathematicians of China designed the city with this concept of heavenly perfection and earthly perfection. In the center, of course, is the forbidden city. The second philosophical system that governed the siting of Beijing is geomancy, or the use of geography and the positioning on land. And so Beijing was sited with a north-south axis, which governs the structure of the painting itself. Third, Confucius and Confucius Confucian philosophers cited Beijing by use of the trigram, as we would use the I Ching, throwing the die and coming up with an affirmation that, yes, Beijing should be right here. So these trigrams line the right border of the painting. And the last philosophical system is the astronomical system. The great astronomers consulted the stars, and the stars, in fact, confirmed the sacred nature of the site. This is the star pattern by these circles and lines. The star pattern is called the purple protected enclosure. And then Beijing has two dancing figures here and here, and the little hairdo on the top of each figure is ornamented by a tiny gold constellation. I'll conclude by saying that Beijing has its crimson leaf along Tiananmen Gate. And it felt very ironic and sad to me that in Chinese the word Tiananmen means heavenly peace. Because as I said earlier, Beijing was meant to be an earthly mirror of divine order where the emperor of the sun lived. So Beijing is called Beijing, heavenly peace on 